Welcome to my Fortnite Battle Royale Week 7 Challenge Guide. In this episode, I'll be covering the challenge that has you scoring a goal on different pitches. Now you have to score 5 goals on different pitches to successfully complete this challenge. So first of all, if you're not into the soccer lingo, a pitch is nothing more than the field itself. Unfortunately, despite each field having 2 goals, you can only score once on each field. Now obviously, I'd say almost everyone knows the 3 major soccer fields in Fortnite. The challenge has you scoring 5 goals, however. But how can that be if you can only score 1 goal at each field and there's only 3? Well, as it turns out, they added some makeshift fields throughout the map. I'll be showing you the locations of all these fields and then you can pick and choose where you want to do the 5 at. So first up is the new soccer stadium located just north of Pleasant Park. The day this came out, it was overloaded with people. But with the new week 7 challenges, you'll find this one pretty empty most of the time. This field is the largest out of all the soccer fields, so this is the easiest one to score on. Next up is the open field in Pleasant Park itself. This is right next to the new stadium, which makes both of these locations ideal for going to one after another. The only issue with the Pleasant Park field is that it's truly in the wide open, which means you could have multiple enemies eyeballing you while you're screwing around trying to score a goal. So just be sure to try and get the goal scored before someone decides to announce their presence. The last of the well-known soccer fields is enclosed in a stadium-type structure and is located to the left of Tilted Towers. And in fact, everyone knows this simply as the Soccer Stadium. Again, the fact that it's located in more or less a straight line from the first two fields makes this ideal to complete. And you'll likely be able to avoid confrontation due to not many people dropping here. So those were the main three almost everyone should have known about already. The next four are relatively unknown. First, there's one at the Flush Factory. So almost no one lands here anymore unless the bus goes right over it. In this example, the bus did just that. And still, only two people landed here with me. This temporary field, if you want to call it that, is located in the northwest part of the area. You'll see two toilets set up as the goalposts. And there's two sets of these for two goalposts. Make sure the coast is clear first, and then kick the ball through the toilets to notch a point towards this challenge. Next, we have one in Fatal Fields. If you go to the northeast side of the fields, you'll see a cornfield with a bunch of scarecrows. These guys have been rearranged to mimic playing an actual game, which is kind of amusing. Now there's two wooden goals here, one on each side of the field. I'd say this is the hardest field to score on, as these actually have a scarecrow goalie at both ends. This place is also in the wide open, so watch out for assassins lurking nearby. The next temporary field is in the crate yard in the southeast corner. You'll see two open crates set up as the goals, with the ball spawning right in the middle. One of the goals has some wooden pallets in, and the other has a steel dumpster. Both of these items can be destroyed, and there's item spawns behind them. Now the goals themselves cannot be destroyed, and you simply need to kick the ball into either of these containers. Now lastly, there's one in Risky Reels. Due to the ridiculous nature of the Week 7 challenge here, however, I'd avoid this place at all costs at the start of the match. Once the coast is clear though, you should be fine to score your goal here. The temporary goals are located directly under the massive outdoor movie screen. This is one of the smallest fields, which makes scoring a goal a bit easier. The goal posts are set up as swing sets, so just kick the ball through one of these and you'll be good to go. So there you have it. Those are the 7 soccer fields where you can score a goal in that I know of. Remember though, you only need to score 5 goals to complete this challenge. Of note, you can't destroy any of these goal posts. So if you thought about sabotaging the challenge for other players, think again. Now let's take a look at the map with all 7 locations marked to see if there's an ideal route we can take. So obviously, the 3 well known stadiums are all within reach of each other, making this an ideal route to knock off 3 in one match. If you manage to do that, then you can easily complete the final 2 the following match by landing Crate Yard first and then going to Risky Reels. Remember, you want to avoid Risky Reels at all costs at the start of the match due to the Week 7 Chess Challenge being there. Now if you're a lesser skilled player, not many people will land at Flush Factory, making that spot to Fatal Fields an easy 2 targets. Regardless of which route you take, you only need 5 out of these 7 in order to complete the challenge.